Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Crita Tutorials. Today I want to show you how to fill your animations up. Uh, usually for animation jobs you need somebody to color the layers. So this is a perfect job for beginners or anybody that just wants to help out doing anything. Alright, so here we have an animated ghost thing. Yeah, I just made it. Isn't it cool? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to show you the technique I use to do a fill. So, of course, your artist, your director, is going to have a couple colors selected for you. So, let's say for this character we have a purple. Great. And let's say like an orange. Like a more saturated orange. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, click OK. Boom. Beautiful. Alright, so your director is going to give you two layers. Two colors, sorry. Your director is going to give you two colors. Um, so, as you can see, this one's not really that clean. So, what you might want to do is go to a color reference layer, which that should have been up there, actually. Yeah, let's just change the name. Color reference. Great. And this one's going to be your color layer. So, the good thing about Krita is that you can animate in it and then export it as frames. So this is what we're going to do. So it's going to be your color layer. Great. You have your reference color and your color layer. All right. So to create this into a timeline, you grab your first key and press V. All right. Now that converts it into a timeline based animation. Before it would only be an image, but now it's a timeline. So if you go here to your first keyframe and fill in the areas. Let's see. You might want to use a thinner brush. So it doesn't really matter what brush you use as long as it doesn't have a texture. But you can fill it up in like that. And then what you're going to do is you're going to press F. F is your fill tool. So now you have your fill tool ready. And we're going to get a hint of our main color. And we're going to hit. Just click on it. So you can see that it pretty much does most of the work for you. Um, to get a closer look, you might want to come here to the layer uh, blending options. And you click multiply. And that will pretty much become see-through. Okay. So now we can hit control and get our secondary color and boom boom there you go you are finished so just in case you have things like this you hit B and then get your untextured uh, untextured tool so you can find your tools right here in your brush presets I have an animation tool set already to go so um, you don't want anything soft you don't want anything with texture so your best bet would probably be either these right here these three brushes they're pretty smooth or to get any of these because these just come out like circles you know and they'll have pressure sensitivity or anything but let's say you do want pressure sensitivity so you gotta get your brush and you come in here and you fill it in and boom you fill in these areas make sure they're all good they're great and there you go that's all you really need to do now I'm gonna do a couple more for you just so you can get you know a good example going of how this works so your first layer is ready second layer you can see it's not matching so you're on the second frame and you press V boom the other one's gone you got your two colors up here ready to go 
So F for fill. Come right here. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Done. You have some unfinished areas right here. So what you will do is come in here, grab your brush tool, press B, press Control to get your ink tool out, press B to get your brush tool out, and then come in here and correct those tiny little mistakes. And this doesn't take a long time. It's usually pretty easy to do. So not stressful, and you know you won't be doing this for long. So if you got a busy day, just pop in here, 10 minutes, do your thing, you know? Okay, so the next layer again, press V, hit F. Okay, control to get the ink tool. Boom, well the eyedropper tool, right? Eyedropper. And boom, filled. Ooh, this one, if I would fill it, it would seep out. Actually, no, it didn't, wow. Great, 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 great. So this is looking good. Fill that in, fill that in, fill this in. Uh, you wanna maybe fill that in. Fill that in, fill that, and then get that going. And there you go. It's basically how you do the fill job. And it's pretty cool because you can to see the whole render. You know, you're basically one step away from the whole render and you can see the animation filled in and it really comes alive. Um, yeah, if, if you guys having mistakes with your fill tool, press F. You can have your tool options right here. Uh, try to match them to mine and you shouldn't have that issue. So fast mode off, threshold to one, grow to two. So this is just to make it grow in your section. Uh, feathering radius, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. All right, so now I'm going to show you how to export. Let's get this out of the way, get this out of the way. So you want to export it with your line layer and your color layer together. So we have our three frames here. You go to File, Export. Uh, render animation actually. Alright, so this will tell you either image sequence, video, or both. So we're not doing video right now. We're going to be doing uh, image sequence. So you can click a PNG. PNG is a lossless file. You won't lose any quality from the compression. So it's lossless PNG. And you could change your base name to like whatever you want. You could probably do frame, underscored, color. And it will just add numbers after that when naming it. So the numbering starts at zero. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you just select your start frame and your end frame. Let's end this one at two. You can see the two is right up there. So two. Let's end that one at two. And let's change the destination to desktop great 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 so usually you want to change it to a destination that has a folder in it already so let's make one here new folder call it color great you could probably call it the scene that you're working on and then put colored I think that would be better so you click in there select you're all good to go click OK and then you're done so let's check it out and that's basically it you have your files here and they're transparent you can see on the background they're transparent alright thanks for watching um, let me know if you have any more questions I will be sure to answer uh, and thanks for helping out. So, if you need another tutorial, let me know. Okay, bye-bye.